Alright guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Zestiria. We are finally back in Volgan Forest after about, I want to say two weeks. I didn't really, re well you guys, I actually played, I haven't really recorded this game in about a week and a half. I was able to get like 20 episodes recorded in one or two days because I had like a, a whole two days to myself and I could just do whatever. So I decided to record, but it's been about a week and a half since I've recorded and we are finally about to fully explore Volgren Forest. So the first thing we want to do is look at the map and see how we want to map out this area. We want to go down there first. There's a cave down there and if I remember correctly we were down there originally and there was a couple of items we can pick up because we were carrying rows on our back. So we want to start by going over there and fighting enemies we haven't fought before like this guy. We're gonna to try to get him into a dangerous encounter though. We're gonna try to get these guys into a dangerous encounter. Here we go. We Level 46. They ain't playing around. Alright, so weakness is water. These harpies we fought before, right? A person whose arms transformed into wings when she became a hellion? Or was it a bird who picked up some human bits? She uses kicking attacks on top of her feather shooting. Sidestepping should be enough to dodge either of those. Alright, Ray Falk Spirit Crest. So we fought these guys before, but they, damn, that art attack is 666. That's not spooky or anything. Their attack, their stats are pretty high, dude. So we, we're gonna have to uh, be care, uh, be careful and cautious. I'm just gonna sit here and heal. Oh my god, she came after me. Thanks, Sore. He got my back. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Not today. Oh, get out of here. I need to heal. No matter who you are. All right, good stuff. Still taking 50 seconds, dude. After getting all this good equipment, fights are still kind of ridiculous to deal with. We're, we are on the hardest difficulty, by the way. We are no longer on hard mode. We've stepped it up a notch. We stepped it up two notches, actually. We went from hard to intense to a chaos. So we're gonna be we're gonna be playing on chaos for the majority for the rest of this playthrough, I should say. Unless there's like a, a part that comes up that's just way too tough for me. I might just reduce it to um, an easier difficulty, like maybe moderate or whatever. But right now, there's a monolith over here. I, I believe this is a monolith we walked is past that a monolith? when we had rose on our arms. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to the battles written in an ancient tongue. Mystic arts. Defeating an enemy with the mystic art earns you at least twice the grade you'd otherwise get. It'll also make the item drop rate skyrocket. Keep an eye on your enemy's HP using the target icon. And then unleash a mystic art to finish them off. Really? So my boy Terrell was entirely correct about that. He told me that using mystic arts just to defeat an enemy will actually increase your item drop rate. He told me that finishing a battle with a mystic art increases it. But just defeating an enemy altogether with a mystic art actually increases the drop rate. Which is pretty neat. So we need to come all the way over here. We need to win step. We need to win step to get over here so we can get this herb i'm thinking it's a sage it's a rosemary damn it i lost that bet i would have lost like five thousand dollars i usually bet five thousand dollars on stuff like that but anyway we're gonna keep moving along here looking for new items we activated this save point right all right so we will have access to uh save warping over there since we just activated it i believe it was actually already activated i just wasn't paying attention so there's a boar up here. We're gonna try to fight that thing. We haven't fought him before. Come over here and get this. Looks like we got a Verbana. All right. Is there any enemies over here we haven't fought yet? Oh my God, that boar was moving so quick, dude. Whoa, Philofolia. Wait a minute, that dude looks special. Okay. A forest plant is, wow, level 38. Look at this, we're running into level 38s, so that low, that that farming session was really worth it. Because we're running into sure way higher enemies. Here. I don't want to go around them, so you go first. 
So I learned a few new arts as you can see off camera. She has the Meteor Swarm, aka. Everyone okay? She has a Meteor Swarm ability. It's called it's something different in this game, but it is basically Meteor Swarm. This looks like it would be a discovery, but it's not. But it sticks out like a sore thumb. I don't think we fought the uh, the tree stumps before. The trents. The trents are level 40, dude. Hold back if we win. Wait, wait. Why did these trees become hellions? It's easy for souls to dwell in something that's lived Flare for a vortex. Time. Oh my god. Damn, dude. They're not even. How much HP they got? I got. Uh, so one cool thing I've learned is like what you can do if you have a higher art with a terrific art What you can do is like While you're holding the art with X you can hit circle and it'll go to a higher hidden art So how's Saray doing he's yet inexperienced, but he's got potential you're quite critical of him he just doesn't respond to my jokes like you do. <laughs> Didn't you mean a shepherd aptitude? Nope. Anyway, we're getting very ridiculously high amounts of grade because we're playing on a higher difficulty. And then, of course, doing certain things in combat give you a higher grade, like completing or completing a battle with a mystic art. But anyway, we need to keep going on here. Is an axe beat. We're gonna try to get two of these. Don't try to get three of them. These guys will kill you dead if you try to fight three of them. Okay. Their levels become like level 70 and they will just go ham on your life for the rest. <laughs> they, they will just not go easy on you, dude. Let's yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Your boy Sorry was about to die by himself. Right. Check this out. Oh, check that out. Oh, that crown fire, baby. Oh, that barrier, though. Yo, Rose has some really good. Ta oh my god, they're dying. They're dying. Yo, we're about to die. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not about to die, dude. <laughs> I refuse to die right now. What a formidable opponent. Jeez. No one said it was going to be extremely free with this new equipment. Because they don't play games on chaos mode. They don't play games. Having this new equipment don't mean, oh, man, easy, easy wins. Easy wins all day. Hell no. These enemies will still screw you up. They will. They don't play games. The Axe Beaks, the Axe Beak gangs don't play games. You mess with the Axe Beaks, you're getting your ass beat. <laughs> that's that's real talk right there though. The Axe Beaks don't play games. So we're gonna try to get a power link between these two. Or a dangerous encounter between these two. Okay, here goes. Oh my god, I forgot, oh, no. forgot, the forgot the heal, forgot the heal. Watch out for its body slam, it'll bore right through you. Shake up. Alright, here we go. Oh. oh yeah, we needed that. I need a hand. Don't you humans ever need to rest? Oh my god, I think our SC is very low then if he's talking about that. Yeah, our SC is mad low, so I guess we can eat something. Looks like we got something for your boy Mikleo. He's stun time reduced by 20%, water attack, blah 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 blah. You know what? Boost defense. You know who really needs this? Your girl Rose. Her defense is really booty butt cheeks. So we're gonna increase Rose's. The reason why I'm getting giving the herbs to humans is because they're always gonna be in battle. They're always gonna be in battle, you know? And they're always on the front line, so I'm gonna give them pretty much the herbs and whatnot. So where are we? We are right here. We need to search above us. So if we go this way, we should be able to find some new items here. There's gotta be a couple of items we haven't picked up yet. Look at that. There's a chest right here. What is it gonna be? A weapon? 
Black Talismans. A pair of earrings with the ability to guard their word from death and bring ill for- Oh, is it Phoenix? No, I thought it was going to be Phoenix. Never mind. Phoenix ability is really good. Allows you to uh, have a chance of not getting killed, which is pretty fun. Oh my god, those boys. I'm not trying to fight those guys right now. There's a Philofolia right there. Rune Crest. Nice. So we got a Rune Crest. We're just going to ignore that guy. Wait, we'll fight him along with this Axe Beat. Uh, let's go. Forest Plantis. Going on. Yo, she's casting so fast. Like, before, I used to say, like, her close up arts were really bad because in most situations, it, it would take her too long to cast it. But with this 40% reduction in casting time for her, it's really good. She can just run, dash up and blow them up. Uh, what are they gonna do about it? And then we're getting mad grade, too. I love it. And we need that grade for the Lord of the Land so we can unlock more skills and uh, boons and basically abilities. Because once you rank up a Lord of the Land, you get boons or whatever. You get access to boons and then you can get some really good boons like increased drop rate. You can also get some really good cool abilities that increase your movement speed on the map. We're near one. So there's like a couple of abilities that we would want to have for each uh, region. Like the nimble, the nimble feet which makes you move faster. So it looks like we got a really nice looking monolith tip. There are different ways to boost your grade. Consecutive hits in normal state. High max damage while armor ties. For example, taking down enemies weak in defense, but with high HP using arm our armatus will earn you more grade. So whenever possible, use armatization strategically to boost your grade. Alright, more AP too. So we can go that way, but I don't think there was any items when I was coming through that way, so we're not gonna come over there. Let's see, let's look at the map. There's probably something up there. If you guys remember, we found a Norman on top of the on top of that area. We couldn't normally we can't get to that normally unless we were inside the ruins and then came out that way. And we were able to find a Norman, I think Rangus? I don't know. But it looks like there's an herb over here. These herbs grow back after a while too, so you might want to use these. Increases Max's HP. So you might just wanna just travel the world recollecting all the sages and herbs and by the time you collect everything almost everything will probably reset I'm not sure about the mechanics on how long it takes for each uh, weapon or not each weapon but each uh, herb point to reset you can also get a ability from the Lord of the Land that resets the uh, items you find in chest too looks like we got a Mongo Sorbet here That's not actually Rose, by the way. I somehow found a way to glitch the game where you can play with Lady Maltran. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be OD. That'd be cool, though. Lady Maltran looks like a very fun character to play with. There's nothing over here, is there? It looks like you can break that rock later. Damn, dude. Look at that dude. He came all the way over here. A city. Have we reached Rollins already? Yep. This is Lastin Bell. It's renowned the world over as a city where artisans and traders congregate. That's the one. You know more about the world than I thought. Hey, what did I say about no voices in my head? Uh, apologies. Alright, the reason why I'm running there is because <laughs> I wanted to listen to that conversation. But anyway, we're going to look at this, this discovery. I'm probably going to get attacked by the end of this. Oh, they actually disappeared. But anyway, it looks like we found a discovery of a humongous beetle. Whoa, it's freaking huge! Aha, uh -huh. a Roland's Atlas beetle. Oh yeah? I never saw one at Alicia. That's the coolest thing ever! And it's thanks to folks like you that you can unload these for a hefty sum. Nope, wrong. Huh? This is a Volgrand stag beetle. Oh, a stag beetle. Oh, well they're pretty much the same thing, right? They both have horns. Completely different. <laughs> Atlas beetles have horns, but stag beetles have prominent mandibles instead. Duh! Wow, Dezel. You know so much. <laughs> Just common sense. So they're different body parts, but are they used the same? They're both used for wrestling. 
but the stag beetle also uses its mandibles to hide under dead logs and in muck. Got it. Related but separate tools. Uh, right, right. Like a butter knife and a shiv. They look similar, but only one will go clean through the ribs. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't... Not my area of expertise. Ugh, uh, you two. Why do I even bother? Oh, Rose. Rosy Rose. Alright, looks like... Wow, is this another... No, that's a Norman, yeah. Got any equipment with open skills, though? Looks like we found Rune. So we're gonna put Rune... Let me see. I'm actually gonna look at my uh, paper. Shirt weapons. Paper. Is there anything with rune on it, I wonder? Calcite sword. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Raider blade, here we go. Rune added to the Raider blade. Alright, good. Now we have more access to uh, another Norman. So, Normans pretty much allow you to put skills on weapons. They, they have a higher chance. If you, if you send it to a lord of the land, you have a higher chance of getting that specific uh, weapon. Or uh, that specific skill a on a weapon drop. An on a weapon or armor drop, excuse me. Difficulty settings, moderate and hard. Good for those with developed reflexes. You get less experience but more gout. So this is recommended if you're aiming for maximum equipment enhancement. Enemies are tougher, but the weakness damage multiplier while armor ties is also increased. Among other changes, this can actually be easier than normal if you know how to work the system. Friends will also marvel at how cool you are. Are you guys liking me yet? Cause I'm on chaos! I'm out of control! <laughs> alright, alright. I got a little bit too loud there. Anyway, I believe there's like one section we haven't really explored yet. We need to walk back a little bit. So here we go. Ooh, a nerd. Damn, that Trent. I don't know how a tree can move. What the hell is that on the wall? Is that just a, a light shadow problem? Yeah, it looks like it was just a shadow. I'm not going to mess with those guys. Let's see, last and bell is that way. I believe we got everything in this area, so what we want to do is I'm actually just gonna make a double look over here. I don't think I've actually went all the way down there. I'm actually gonna check. This place is huge by I the way. Busy work like this. Alright, so we're still looking for items. If you're seeing like quick jumps, it's because I'm just making sure that I'm like getting everything possible. I laid this. This one was behind it. This one was hiding behind this rock right there. Midi blouse. Armor for a lady, made for ease of movement. Probably not good. Yeah, look at that. It's not as good as everything else. Everything else I got was from uh, Dangerous Encounter. So what we're gonna do, I think we got everything now. I think we did get everything. What's that? Oh. So I was just walking around and making sure I got all the items for this area and apparently we just found a discovery right here. A huge stump. Here we go. Discovery point. Story of the stump. Mickley, a look! A giant tree stump! Hmm. Judging from the growth rings, it looks like this one's at least a thousand years old. You counted them? What, are we boring you? You can eyeball this kind of thing, you know. Look. See? This width accounts for about 20 years. If the trunk is at least 50 of these wide, that's a thousand years right there. Hey, look! There's a part where the growth rings are super concentrated. You're right. I wonder why. There was probably an era with a chilly enough climate that the sun barely ever broke through the clouds. Oh, I see. So that's why these growth rings are so close together. And that's approximately a thousand years ago. Amazing. Trees are history books growing right in front of us. Impressive that you even noticed that, though. You just need to think more, is all. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so I think we found everything possible in this area. I think we got all the items. I double checked, triple checked, and now what we need to be doing is making our way towards. 
Pindrago. So let's be on our way towards Pindrago, or I guess you can call it Lasting Bell is the next city that we need to go to. So here we go, guys. All right, look at this. We just unlocked another save point, and there's a monolith over there I don't think we checked out. So just to give you guys a heads up, you can actually use the save point at this point in the game just to travel between the fields of Volgren Forest, but you can't go back to Glaveland Basin or Falkland Hillside or Lake Haven Heights. Even though you may have activated it through the Lord of the Lands, you still can't travel all the way back there unless you use that little happy little shortcut, that creative shortcut that I showed you earlier. <laughs> Line up and wait. Those who don't comply shall be punished. You gotta be kidding. I don't have time for this. An inspection? It's the army. What do you think? There's gonna be a real war going on real soon. Hmm. <laughs> Odds are they'll be detaining you, I bet. Huh? Why me? You back there. Pipe down! Sorry! You've heard the rumors about the Shepherd, right? Yeah. In Highland, I think. Right, but the latest word is he's made his way to Rollins. Huh. No kidding. Crazy. <laughs> Does the Rollins Empire think unfavorably of the Shepherd? You bet they do. The Knights have seen what he can do in battle and are all up in arms. And the church has branded him a heretic. A heretic? As if that wasn't enough, there's talk of mysterious happenings going on in town. Next! Oh, looks like I'm up. On that note, watch your back out there. This dude looks like he he's a printy. I thought we'd be fine, but now I'm not so sure. I think it's best that you hide who you are, but the idea of making someone like you tell a lie is like... It's like trying to convince your best hen to lay hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we better get ready to make a run for it. We have a pass and everything. Just chill. I got this. Just no creepy head voices for the time being. Got it? So long as you don't cause any trouble. Okay. Just keep your mouth shut. Next! Oh, uh, screw this road! They're gonna, they, they're gonna know! They're gonna find out on the shepherd! But wait, what? I'm the shepherd! Why am I scared? Let's just get this monolith. Oh, wait, we already checked out that monolith. <laughs> Alright, enough running away like a little baby. Here we go. Oh, uh, what's going on, guys? I'm not the shepherd or anything. Yep, see my clothes? My clothes are definitely nothing like the shepherds. And I took off my shepherd cloth because, well, I didn't want to get found out. I am Sergei Strelka, captain of the Platinum Knights, defenders of the glory of the Roland's Empire. In cooperating to ensure the Empire's peace, you prove your gratitude as much as your loyalty. Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our merchant guild pass. We've come to Lastendel on business, specifically the collection of a bill. The sparrow feathers are you. Quite impressive. We've got a strict deadline, no time to waste. The place of business is the liquor establishment on the main road. Liquor? Ah, yes, Boris's canteen. That place certainly gets an awful lot of business. And we deeply appreciate being a part of it. Is there anything else? No. My gratitude for cooperating with our inspection. Thanks for all your hard work. Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we have our reasons. I'm asking your guard here. Crap. Yeah. Repeat after me. Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth is, I am the son of a provincial lord. <laughs> Rose. That's right. My husband here is nobility. Uh. What? You're married? <laughs> 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 Never had I lifted anything heavier than a fork in my life. Yet by chance did I fall in love with a traveling merchant. <laughs> <laughs> 
In the throes of passion, I threw my money and land away to be with her just over a year ago. You... you did? <laughs> even my wife didn't know the full truth. <laughs> the cruelties of the outside world taught me how feeble I truly am. But even so, I knew a husband has a duty to protect his wife. <laughs> So I wear an ornamental sword at my side as a hollow pretense of strength. <laughs> so bad. With the weak will of a sad, broken man. Ah, sorry. <laughs> You're doing your best. It's cool. Oh, my dearest. Your sweet words are sucker to my tired limbs. <laughs> oh, God. Sow the seeds of love, and they will bloom no matter how arid the terrain. Live and be strong. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I don't know how that worked, but I think we made it. Thanks, guys. More like we just lucked into the perfect audience. A win's a win. Turns out it's handy to have an invisible woman on your side, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sorry I told you to be quiet. So it's alright if we communicate directly inside your... No. It's creepy and obscene. Obscene? I'm not obscene! Come on. Let it go, Lila. Let it go. Let it go. Alright then. I assume that we're on our way to Pendrago now? Well, uh... Drago? But Miklio, this town looks all kinds of exciting. Well, it does, so... We really ought to poke around at least a little. Did I nail it? Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. I'm game. Bunch of children. That's why we get along so well. And someday we all will. You mean seraphim and humans? <laughs> Alright. 